Well, as the American public digests that bombshell Nunez memo, uh, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are also doing the same thing. And many people are actually wondering what it means for Washington, D.C. I want to bring in our panel right now, Adriana Cohen, syndicated columnist and Boston Herald radio host and Madison Jesse Otto, national coalition for Trump advisor and Washington Times columnist. Madison, let me start with you. Uh, you know, obviously both sides sort of hunkering in, a lot of finger pointing, but the, 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 it's hard to escape the fact that we have this big investigation, a lot of speculation, all built on a lie. You know, the memo confirmed a lot of what we already suspected. What I think is really important to remember here is the fact that for the past year, Democrats ran around screaming that the biggest threat to our democracy was Russia, when in reality, one of the biggest threats was potentially our very own top leaders at the FBI. This is absolutely mm -hmm. insane, and I think it's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment for them, it's an embarrassment for this country, and for the hardworking members of the FBI that wake up every day and go to work to make America proud. But this is not something that's new, and that's the disappointing part. When we look right. at FISA, there's a lot of Fourth Amendment issues that have been talked about for years that have not been addressed, going all the way back to 2002. You know, to get a FISA warrant, uh, it's, it's much more expansive uh, in terms of the surveillance on American people, but yet somehow over 99% of these have been granted by FISA yeah, courts. I, I think all and that's going to be. FISA courts have had multiple issues, Charles. Yeah, yeah, but of let, FBI I, but let's, misleading them in the past. But, and but, this is another example of and that. I, and I get that, but I think right now, you know, the focus more on this particular issue because, uh, you, to your point, you're absolutely right. Uh, there have been uh, it's been um, a controversial court from day one, but just moments ago, Adriana. Vice President Pence, he spoke with the local affiliate in Pittsburgh, and they asked, uh, does the administration still have confidence in the FBI Director Ray and Deputy General Attorney Gen uh, General Rod Rosenstein? And he went on, of course, to say that all of this raises serious questions about the integrity of the decision-making made at the highest levels at the Department of Justice and FBI. So what happens next? Because President Trump, I know on one hand, must want to replace Rod Ro Rosenstein, but by the same token, it could uh, open up a political Pandora's box. That's right. So I, I would imagine that President Trump's advisors, his legal advisors, are telling him just stay quiet, let the process ride out. I think at minimum, President Trump should wait to take any action until all the information comes forth. We have the IG report coming; it's about 400 pages. Uh, it, you know, the I, Mr. Horowitz, the IG Inspector General, is an Obama appointee. Let's see what his findings uh, come out with. But you know, Madison made a really good point. The corruption at the highest levels of the FBI is so alarming. I mean, we. We know for a fact now that the FBI was politically weaponized and they got FISA warrants based on this fake dossier, this opposition research paid for by the Clinton campaign and the Democrats. And they use that to launch multiple investigations, yeah. uh, you know, the House Intelligence Investigation, the Senate Intelligence Investigation, and then the Bob Mueller Special Counsel Investigation. And so I think at this point, from what we know just from this memo today, the Mueller investigation is tainted. It's now become an illegitimate investigation because I, it's I, all I, I, I don't disagree with you, although I will say, Adriana, uh, Trey Gowdy uh, thinks that the, it's not been compromised, which I do find very interesting, although he admits that the bias here uh, raises some serious questions. Ladies, thank you both very, yes. very much. Appreciate it. Coming up, we're going to hear from House Intelligence Committee.